Hey there guys, this is Reckles with One to Buy Gold, and today we are taking a look at four gold farms in World of Warcraft that you haven't heard of yet. Now, these are all by YouTubers that are uh, smaller, under 5,000 subs, so if you like any of these farms, and I've included a good mix of different gold making techniques, you got transmog and professions and pet farming and a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, then go check them out and subscribe to them and let them know I sent you. So uh, we can share the love and uh, build up this community a little bit more. Uh, these guys are where the fun, new, and original ideas come from. So uh, let's get into our first technique. This first strategy is by a guy named Sharkin. I've talked about him before, but he's fantastic. And his video is called Wow Gold Farm Instant Respawn in Desolus. Now, uh, this is a transmog farm, and we're going to be focusing on eye level 30 to 35 stuff. So, uh, if you are an experienced transmog farmer, this is the stuff you get out of, like, uh, Oldemon. Most of the stuff is pretty cheap. It's like 100 to 1,000 gold, but occasionally you'll get a 20,000 gold, 50,000, 500,000 gold item. You know, the super duper rare green stuff. So, what we're doing, we're farming uh, Slither Blade Invaders, the, the, a whole bunch of Naga, and you are not gonna believe how easy this farm is. <laughs> God. Uh, so, uh, the cool thing that this guy brings to the table is creative ways of farming instant respawn, transmog farms. So, uh, he taught, he brings up the idea of rolling a trial account for a brewmaster monk, where, you know, test out the level 100 brewmaster monk, you can on that tune, go put an ox statue down, all these naga run to the ox statue, you kill them, you loot them, and it's pretty AFK. He does the same thing with a druid. So go check this farm out, spend a little bit of time here. You know, you for any transmog farm, you need to spend at least like 30 minutes to an hour to get any kind of results whatsoever. And of course, you want to have as 500, 1,000 transmog pieces up on the auction house in order to get reliable income. But this is a great farm if you're looking for a creative way to get uh, your, your eye level 30-ish stuff. The second technique is from a guy named Organic Gaming, and his video is called 6,000 Gold in One Minute by Trolling People on the Auction House. And I love that. I love this video because you can you can see the sparks going off in his mind as he's talking about this and it's it's part uh, it's a, an important part of my gold making journey where i i remember when it first clicked for me that people would pay gold for the luxury of being lazy uh, what he's talking about specifically is buying uh, musk and butter and flaked sea salt and jalapeno peppers and stone dark snails all the cooking reagents for Legion, buying those from the vendor and just selling them on the auction house and not even selling them for a lot, just like two gold, five gold, 10 gold, whatever you can get for them. But uh, this is something people are willing to pay for, this luxury of being lazy. And in fact, the Gold Queen, uh, like it's not a new idea, the Gold Queen has a group that she calls the Copper Rod Squad. And uh, these guys, try to see how much gold they can get for vendor items. Like, I'm not talking about anything fancy, just like the stuff you have on the back of your Traveler's Tundra Mammoth. Like, rune thread and uh, vanishing powder and just silly stuff that costs a silver to buy. You can sell on the auction house for a thousand gold and people will buy it because people are lazy. The third technique is for all you miners out there, and this is actually my video, so I'm being a little self-serving, but uh, this, is, this is my channel, I can do what I want. Jeez, get off me. So, what the, the, the point of this strategy is that Corium Ore and the price for Corium Bars has been going up and up and up every month since, uh, like, Missa Pandaria. The Corium bars are selling for 1,600 gold each right now. It's nuts. And granted, you're not going to be selling a lot of them because they are expensive. But whenever someone wants to craft the uh, any of the BC Epic Transmog stuff, uh, they got to buy a lot of Corium ore. Uh, so 
sell it to them and make them pay as much as they can handle. So, uh, in my video, I go through Nagrand and Isle of Keldonis and Netherstorm, and I talk about the results that you get from each. Generally, you're looking at like 10 to 25 ore per hour. Uh, not a whole lot, but you're also getting Fell Slate and, or, uh, Fell Iron Ore and Adamantite Ore and a whole bunch of other goodies, uh, motes of fire and earth, all that good stuff. But I talk about the pros and cons of each zone, so go watch that if you're a miner. Corium should be part of your weekly routine. And this last technique we're going to talk about is from a good friend of the channel, Hikans, and uh, this is 1.2 million gold per hour. We're kicking things up a lot. Uh, now, this is RNG dependent, it's pet farming, and in a nutshell, what this guy's doing is killing the Lich King on as many different tunes as he can every single week. Specifically, he's farming the Drudge Ghoul pet. And Drudge Ghoul Pet right now is selling for between 50 and 100,000 gold. Prices have gone down since he made the video, but this thing's still super duper expensive. It's rare. It doesn't drop very often off the Lich King, and so you can sell, you can sell it for a ton. Now, the the special thing, the reason why you should watch this video is because he does a great job of explaining not only the math behind how he can justify 1.2 million gold per hour, but how to farm this on an army of alts as efficiently as possible. What he does is he uh, shares his lockout with his own alts. So you start a group in the pre-made group finder uh, once you've killed everything up to the Lich King, and then you log into your alt, and you have your alt queue up for that pre-made group finder group, and then you log back into your main, and you accept that, and then you log back into your alt, and then you walk into ICC, and you're right there at the Lich King, or at the portal before, you know, the Valkyries carry off the edge. You, you've been there, you know. But, uh, if you haven't ever done this sharing lockout trick, I recommend you go watch his video, and you subscribe to his channel, he's fantastic. All these guys are great, but that is it. Go farm some Dredge Ghouls, go get some Corium, go get uh, some Vendor Junk and sell it for as much as you can, and go ahead and get some Transmog in Desolus. All these places are at least 10 to 100,000 gold per hour. So go make some gold, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video if it helped you out. Uh, and I'll see you later. Good luck and happy gold making.